There's nothing quite like being a kid in a toy store. Just ask five-year-old Bennett. Mommy, look. It's that love of toys Justin Cooper wants to pass on. Our buy two, get one free, all in this area. That's why he opened Jughead and Bean's toy store almost four years ago, focusing on toys, tails, and treats. And so just being around uh, toys and in that world, I've never grown out of it. I've just kind of always been a big kid. So let's have a toy store. He's one of many local store owners in the state who participated in Small Business Saturday. He says supporting small is big for him. Because the money that you spend here stays here. You know, it supports my family, it supports the businesses, the local businesses that I shop at. According to an American Express survey, 72% of shoppers say that on Small Business Saturday, it makes them want to support small all year long. And that means everything to two business owners here at the North Village Market. These are kind of fun and funky. <laughs> Margie Miller just opened her store called Imagine, selling gifts and home decor. I, I guess you call me eclectic. You know, I got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Becoming a business owner was a lifelong dream for this professional nurse. So earlier this year, she took the leap. It's a, very exciting. It's a dream come true. I wanted to do this forever. To keep that dream alive, she says Small Business Saturday provides a big boost in sales. It makes the difference between profit and loss. <laughs> so yes, it's huge. And we're very thankful for everybody that's come by today. It's been quite busy. For Abdullah al Fatlawi, it's not just a boost in sales. It's also a boost in exposure. His family owns this food market called Al Reef, selling Mediterranean food and international groceries. I think it gives us a chance like to expand. More people like to, like to see us, find out about us. And, like, they can learn about our food truck and hopefully like, we get an opportunity like, to expand even more, or, like open up a restaurant sometime. All owners say they hope people shop small this holiday season. In Norton Commons, Madison Elliott, WLKY News.